Welcome. This tutorial will show you um, how to display or not the content of a column of a table based on the uh, data that is in that column. So um, uh, I'm going to open Jaspersoft Studio now, and uh, this is the end report um, in, the, in preview. So you can already see that uh, for this particular end date column, there is one value that is not null, and I decided that you know only if all columns, or, or only if all rows have a null value for that column, then I will not display that column at all in the report. But if there is only at least one non non null value, then we will display the column. So as you can see at the moment. We're displaying the column because there is one non-null value. Now I'm gonna update the table, and in theory, now we should see that the column disappears because that particular row also has a null value. And in fact, we don't see that column anymore. Um, now. This is the end report. I'm going to now show you how to create it from scratch. Um, so I'm going to close this one. And create a new one. We're going to choose the food marked sample database and our initial query will be for the main report will be a count so that we we can count the number of not null um, values for that particular column as you can see i'm enclosing the main query in a as a subquery, um, and then I'll, I will use the, the main query in the in the table. Now there's only one count value here, which is fine. Uh, let me finish here. Now I'm going to remove all the bands except summary and detail now in the detail I'm going to show the, only the count Which was there actually already. Let me remove it. Let me reduce the size of the detail band. Now we're gonna add the table element. I'm going to create a, a new data set. Again, I'm going to choose the footmart sample database. And in this case, the query is going to be just the, as I mentioned before, the, the main query. The actual query return is the data. I'm going to pick a few fields. Hire date, end date, gender, and management role. Use them all for the table and remove some headers and footers. Okay. So 
at the moment I'm gonna preview and it should show all the columns no matter what so as you can see from the number on top here zero it says there's no um, no row of my on my data set for the end date column that has no null value so they're all nulls so now I'm gonna edit the table so I double click on the table go on, on my end date column properties cell and I'm gonna edit the print one expression field I'm gonna say if my field C and T is greater than zero then um, show the column otherwise don't show the column As you can see, I'm using a field a C and T from the main report in the in the table, which uses the sub, uh, the sub data set, but that works. So I go to the main report, save. Now, in theory, I should not see the end date column. In fact, it's hidden. And now. I change the data, I set to no null value for that row, I run the report again, and now I can see the column. Thanks.